So we came up to Mount Shasta this weekend to go skiing and the parking lot ended up being full by the time we got up there. So we took an extra two hour long detour up to Lava Beds National Monument. And now we're going to explore some caves. We already went through one. I wish we would have got a couple of videos, but we didn't, but it was really cool. And so now we're headed down into the Golden Dome. And later we're gonna head down through the three to four hour hike through the catacombs. Super stoked. We weren't really ready for this, but you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Holy come on. Covered in gold. Covered in gold. <laughs> Look at that. Water on green algae. Yeah. So we've made it out of the Golden Dome cave, headed over to the catacombs. That was really cool. I wasn't. I mean, I should have expected there to be some kind of goldenness down there. I didn't expect there to be that much. The cave seemed to go on and on. We didn't actually, you know, go to the ends of the earth down there, but we did almost feel like we got lost there for a second. So, you know. So we're at the entrance to the catacombs. Clearly this is not good caving outfits, but uh, like I said, we were planning on going skiing. <laughs> We bought the knee pads and the gloves at the visitor center, but we had the skiing helmets from, you know, planning on going there. But yeah, we're about to head underneath. We'll see uh, if this works out or not. Jackie is a little bit afraid of being claustrophobic, so she's already cried once. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Those dance moves we all love so much. <laughs> I love the smell like chicken wings. <laughs> nice we want chicken wings. Alright, here we go. Oh, that map. <laughs> Let's look at the map here. <laughs> Is this Ed? What are we going in there? <laughs> Keep it coming. Stay lower. That's really hard. Just take your time. This is what it's like crawling under houses every day. Alright, turn your light back on. Jackie, about to make. The terrifying traverse over a pit that's about, you know, a foot off the ground. 
just get Jackie. Don't well, just come over here and walk up and climb. <laughs> oh, nice job. <laughs> So we made it to the end of the cave, signed the little registrar, now we're headed back. We're going to find that crossover, crossover and do like the rest of the loop back in a different way. So that should be fun. Um, it was a little tight, like the last couple of crawls were probably the tightest ones that we've had to do so far. So yeah, that was cool. And yeah, we're looking forward to getting out of here. <laughs> So now at the crossover point, I'm just gonna climb up here and hope that this is it. Again, so he's... Am I almost out? Oh, oh I made it! Whew. That was a tough one. Yeah? <laughs> Probably the tightest one of the trip, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there right. you are. Hello. Come on down the poop chute. <laughs> the poop chute. <laughs> oh. oh wow, okay. <sighs> you flipped around? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down the poop chute. <laughs> That was hard for me. I can't imagine a giant six foot one man. All right. All right. You made it. A bit pooped out. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, I'm tired. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, sweets. You got this. Yeah, I'm taking a nap here. All right, come on. <laughs> Looks pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, come on. <laughs> so we met back up with our original trail in this nice big room. We love to, we're headed back down and we'll be out in like a couple minutes. So we made it out. 
I'm getting stuck now. <laughs> Took us about an hour and 40 minutes to get out of there. Um, but we went slow and, you know, so you could probably do it quicker. And if we had gone back the way we came, you definitely could have done it quicker. But we didn't, and it was really fun. I'm glad we did it. Super pumped. We might actually stop by another cave, but probably not. Anyways, Pebble Pusher out. <laughs>